Hello, everybody. Uh, today, we're looking at a TR-7950. Sorry for my shaky hand. I'm getting older and my tripod is lost. Um, this is a very nice example for the age of the radio. Uh, as you can see, the display is in really nice shape. The displays die on these items. Um, all the lettering is on everything. The backlight for the keypad is there. Uh, it's in really, really nice shape. Um, let's look at the top of the radio here. There's a little bit of scratches. There's surface scratches. There's nothing deep. Um, the, here's the side of the radio. And I can actually show you the other side of the radio here. Okay, even though I got one hand, I'm going to try to go ahead and put it on its side. And there you go. There's the bottom. It actually has feet. Uh, it actually has the Kenwood sticker with the serial number. Uh, I will take pictures of this. And on the bird meter, uh, and so you can actually see what kind of wattage it's doing out. Uh, there is somebody waiting out there. We already identified, so we keep away the uh, the uh, YouTube yahoos that are not licensed and want to play with our call signs. We did identify already. Please do not fret, and we will identify when the video is over. Uh, what else can I tell you? You're going to get the power cord with it. It's fused. I think it's about uh, five, six feet long. Uh, you are going to get the stock microphone, the MC43. The only thing is the microphone's a little ratty here at the end. It does work. Okay, it will probably need a new uh, six-pin connector on the end. Uh, anything else you see in the video is not included, including the desk mic I'm using or the power supply you've seen or the bird meter. It's just the radio. Uh, but again, the radio works fine. It was sitting for about a year and a half. I powered it up. I did a factory reset on it. I went ahead and programmed a couple frequencies, and it worked great. So let's see here. We're going to go out here. The only other thing I want to tell you is, and, and it's so minor, you're not going to be able to tell, and I'm just being honest. It's been sitting around for so long. The volume control, just a little bit. It's just a little noisy. And you cannot tell on a squelch signal. So when the person starts talking, I'll play with it so you can actually um, see. But it's so minimal, you cannot even tell. After a little bit of working, I think it's going to go away. Hey, Mike, I did tell people we identified before the video started. Uh, how are you doing? And can you hear me on this Kenwood uh, TR-7950? Yeah, how you doing, Bill? I hear you loud and clear. Sounds good. Nice crisp on. Thank you very much. I just demonstrated the volume control because it, it is a little bit noisy because it's been sitting unused for a while. Good. I know that you're Kenwood aficionado. You love these radios. Uh, this one's got to be about, I think they were made in the early to mid 80s. So this is probably about 35 year old radio. Uh, still a tank, uh, 45 watt output. Uh, a lot of people use these for packet radio or for echo link and other purposes. Uh, the receive on these are awesome, but uh, this is definitely a nice example of it to sit up on the shelf uh, of a radio from the past that you want to show off to people or if you want to use as a daily user. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, sounds good.